Hi everyone, John Dunn here with a, another Cadence V15 feature video. And today I'd like to talk about the environment features in V15. What I mean by that is how the software looks, feels, the mouse clicks, etc. Uh, it's very important in microwave office that is, software is easy to use. And every release, we're always giving uh, new enhancements to that uh, environment with the philosophy of make it nicer to look at, make it easier to use, and make it faster for the user. This slide quickly shows you uh, some of the main features here. There are plenty of graphing enhancements, which I'll actually uh, demo here for you in a minute. Uh, ease of use in layout, we've improved how the mouse works. And we have keyboard entry for resizing rectangles and circles. Very important feature, multiple units. If you have a chip on board in two different libraries, PDKs, you can use microns on one and millimeters or mils on the other. And finally, make it faster. We've actually improved our 3D rendering a lot. So now when you look at those pretty 3D layouts and you start spinning and moving them, that you should see uh, greatly enhanced performance. So why don't we go on the software and in this brief video let me at least show you some graphing enhancements. Here we are in V15 microwave office. I'm showing you a graph here of a filter results and I want to use this as a way of uh, pointing out some of the new graphing features in V15. Uh, the focus of these features is to try to stay within the graph and not have to be going to the project browser. So, for example, if we look at the top of the graph, I can change the name of the graph right in the graph. So, there we are. I can go ahead and change the limits on the axes within the graph. So, if you look at the lower left on the vertical axes, minus 400, we can go to minus 200. I can go ahead and work with the legend here. Uh, so for example, if I want to disable S22, right click on it, toggle enable, notice it actually now disappears from the legend, making the graph look nicer. If you follow my cursor to the project browser, you can toggle enable it back. Uh, to set that option, you would be up in uh, options, environment options and uh, you can go ahead and change that. You also can now set optimization goals and yield goals right in a graph. So for example, for our S11, our return loss here, right click, add optimization goal. I simply draw it in the graph and I'm done if I want to. Same for yield goals. I can do things with markers that I couldn't, uh, I just couldn't do before. Uh, for example, if we add a marker here, and I'll add it to the return loss trace, notice first of all there is an option where the marker actually gets the color of the trace, which I've enabled. Uh, second of all, if we add another marker, an offset marker, and I will go ahead and uh, do so. Notice the reference marker is M1, which is the blue trace. We'll give it a Y offset of uh, minus 30. And if I select the trace, I can actually go ahead and have the other marker on another trace, which was not possible before V15. Well, we're out of time, everyone. Hopefully this gave you a little bit of an idea of some of the new features in the new V15 release of Microwave Office. For more information, please go to our website where you can find out all sorts of good stuff, including how to obtain the software and get more information on V15. Have a great day, everyone, and talk to you later. Bye.